First card is Spirit Shackle. And his name is John C. What's up, YouTube? Mark again with Card Zoom. And we're finally ready to begin episode one of opening one of every booster pack from Fallen Empires on. So kick back, relax, grab yourself some popcorn, and grab yourself your favorite beverage. And let's get this started. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers, guys. Before we get started with the main feature of the video, I'm actually going to rewind a little bit and open everyone's favorite. Fallen Empires in 4th edition. Fallen Empires uh, had 184 cards. It was released November of 1994. And they printed the living crap out of this set. So, uh, yeah. They're not, very, they're not worth very much. You can get a pack for a few bucks. But I do feel that one day the supply has to be exhausted. You have to be really careful when you're buying old packs that still have this clear wrapping. And I don't know if you can tell in the on the camera, but if I flip it over to the back, I can actually see that the first card is a Thalid Devourer. I can just barely see through there. And there it is, Thalid Devourer. Nice land, Acadian sh store. I almost said shore. Feral zealot. Order of Lightbur. Neck right. Elvish scout. Nice Christopher Rush art. I love the background. Dwarven soldier. High tide. Wow, very nice. By Amy Weber. Huh. That actually seems kind of good. And I guess that was the rare. Alright, so thanks guys. That was Fallen Empires, our first pack. Alright, fast forwarding to the next year, 1995. Uh, actually in April, before Ice Age came out in June, coming in at a whopping 378 cards, we have 4th edition. Cheers everybody. Let's see what we have in here. First card is Spirit Shackle. And his name is John C. Ah, the nostalgia. Life Force. He's so cute. Tano Suzwan. Timberwolves. Banding, wow. Yeah, if you can't tell these cards are 20 years old, then... They are. Pit Scorpion. Venom. Phantasmal Terrain. Hurloon Minotaur. Brainwash. Terror. Iron Root Tree Folk. Sunken City. Brothers of Fire. Gotta love that art. Fire is never a gentle master. Holy armor. And lastly, a paralyze. Now we are starting the Ice Age block. Uh, I think it's interesting to note that Wizards released each of these sets. Uh, this was 95, 96, and actually 2006. They released each of them in the summer. So, I think they really wanted to push that, uh, you know, cool off with a nice game of magic. That was their marketing idea, which I think was pretty smart. 
And Ice Age was another huge set coming in at 385 cards. It's got, I believe, over 60 cards on the reserve list. Uh, not a particularly valuable set, but beautiful artwork, really cool theme. I think a lot of people really liked it uh, and have fond memories of the set. And it was Magic's first standalone set, meaning you didn't have to have other cards to play uh, Ice Age. Alright, and here we go. I'm really hoping for a brushland. Come on, brushland. Oh, wait, I forgot to read the back. So, this still has the Garfield games, also. It's a standard expansion. Okay. So here we go, guys. Ice Age. Alright. First card is White Out. Sacred Boon. Gotta love that art. Conquer. Orcish Squatters. Panic. Songs of the Damned. Damn, son. Fiendhorn Brownie. <laughs> Norit. Tarpon. Nice little painting there. Mystic Remora. Balduvian Barbarians. Foxfire. Notice these tiles, like this card and Tarpon are by the same lady. And they both have these tiles. Did y'all ever notice that? Huh. It's kind of cool. Margaret Organ Keen. That's the artist. Kelderan Guard. Lava Burst. And for the rare. Oh, wait, no, there's one more. Er, yeah, I guess that is the rare. Gaze of Pain. Alright, guys, I'm super excited to move on to Alliances. Really hoping to get a Force of Will, and I really doubt that's going to happen. But, this came out in May 96, the next summer after Ice Age. Well, in the meantime, we actually had another set walk in, Chronicles. Now, this for those who don't know, a lot of, a lot of uh, old players of the game really hated this set. Because as you can see here, uh, contains selected cards from the following expansions. Arabian Nights, Antiquities, Legends, and the Dark. So they actually reprinted a bunch of these old cards, but they added the white borders. And players at the time just really thought it was going to tank the value of all their cards. And I, I believe it did for the time being. But at, now, as we all know, you know, these white bordered reprints just don't hold it nearly as much value. But yeah, it, also of note, it was printed in Belgium. And this is a 12 card pack. So we went from 8 to 12 and finally to 15. And once again, Chronicles... It was released in July of 1995. It, it's a small set. It only contains 125 cards. So, wish me luck. Here we go. Oh, wait. Yeah, there's nothing to read up there. So, Uh-oh. Rabid Wombat. Fire Drake, Bronze Horse, Wall of Heat, oh man I remember just finding like a gazillion of these in the commons boxes all the time, K Takahashi, Prevents Damage, huh, he was from Legends, Antiquities, Felden's Cane, Dan Dan from Arabian Nights, Rune Sword from the Dark. Pretty sweet. Goblin Digging Team. Bog Rats. Another Wall of Heat. 
Really? And we got a Davenant Archer. Wah, wah. All right, and we're finally moving on to alliances. I was probably the most excited about this pack. Just got a lot of really cool artwork and lands and uh you know, I wouldn't mind a Lake of the Dead. I wouldn't mind Force of the Will, Force of Will obviously. Uh interesting tidbit, the the development code name for this set was Quack, like like a duck quacks. <laughs> and uh it came out in May of 1996. So once again, back to the summer, they were like, hey, let's release another ice theme set. This one had 199 cards, 43 of which are uncommon. So I'm hoping, uh, and I believe Force of Will is actually just an uncommon. So we'll see how it goes. It's only $2.45 a pack. Wow. And this, this is actually printed in... Uh, or no, it says published by Wizards, but it was made in Belgium still. And these cards are a little warped. Uh, yeah, but whatever. Here we go. So excited. Alright, wait, I gotta take a sip of beer before this one. Cheers, everybody. Ooh, I almost I thought that was it. Alright, suffocation. <laughs> Pyrokinesis. Soul Devi Digger. Kelderan Escort. Fevered Strength. Whip Vine. Foresight. Come on. Elvis Ranger. Latinam's Legacy. Balduvian War Makers. And the Noble Steeds. Well, big surprise. We didn't get a Force of Will. Alright, and lastly for Episode 1, we have Cold Snap. Uh, interesting tidbit is the development code name was actually Splat. It came out July eighth, two thousand six. So, kind of interesting how they started a they decided to end off a block that was ten years old. It's like they were doing a ten year celebration basically. And this one is the smallest out of the three sets. It's at one hundred and fifty five cards. And a lot of people would be looking for like dark depths and things like that. So let's check out the back. I think it's funny how it says premium card odds approximately 1 in 70. Is that for foils? And now, of course, these are made in the USA. And a 15 card pack. All right. Well, let's do this. I like how they put the ice on top of the expert level. All right, guys. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. Wish me luck. And I think with this set, it's really hard to tell the rarity of some of them. Because it's such a tiny set symbol. Goblin Furrier. Rhymebound Dead. Snow-Covered Island. Sweet. Surging Might, Boreal Griffin, Surging Ether, Simeon Brawler, Feast of Flesh, Rite of Flame, Martyr of Frost. I really like the feel of this set for sure. Swift Maneuver. Like, wow, art like that, that's, that totally looks vintage, you know. It's awesome. Props to that guy. 
All right, now we're on uncommons. Wall of shards. Pretty badass looking. Crovacan whispers. Ah, the old Crovacans. Balduvian fallen. And our rare dark depths. <laughs> wow. I can't believe that, guys. That's that's amazing. Yeah. Cheers. Wow, that's awesome, guys. You brought me the luck I needed. Cheers. Best card in the set, I believe. And uh, it's a legendary Snowland. Dark Depths comes into play with 10 ice counters on it. 3 mana. Remove an ice counter from Dark Depths. When it has no ice counters on it, sacrifice it. If you do, put an indestructible indestructible legendary 2020 black avatar creature token with flying and merit lady and here's the from the vault lore version of that card yeah let's see it i will be doing a giveaway for one of these sealed from the vault boxes complete uh, once i reach some more subs so if you like what you see be sure to subscribe and thanks again for watching